Right, yeah. Uh, first of all, I think the first half was very good. One of the best we have had. And uh, the volume that we have, the creativity and the connections were what we were looking for. And it was very consistent during the whole half. So uh, with six or seven chances that we have and and uh, uh, the desire to impose our game against a very good team, it, it was uh, remarkable. And second half, uh, we knew Columbus was going to come to uh, for the reactions normally. And we found this play with, uh, with uh, Nani where uh, obviously we disagreed totally. And, and, uh, and uh, I mean, this world, I'm worldless in that, in that uh, action and because we had the opportunity to review it. Uh, but after that, uh, I think the heart of our players came up and, and they're showing what they have uh, got during this year. Uh, a team who may not be made by the best players, but are a bunch of players that make each other better and better. And, and I'm, I'm very proud, and I say before, tonight is an honor for me to coach these guys. And, and I give the credit to them. It, it's, it's nothing else. It was their hard, and the three points against a very good rival is, uh, is at home. And then we secure our spot for the playoffs and the home game, which is, is another objective accomplished. So we're good. We're good. A lot of emotions today, but uh, but it was worth it. Oscar, uh, congratulations on the big win tonight. When you guys went down to ten men, what was kind of your tactical shift, and how do you feel that your players reacted both emotionally and with their execution on the field? Yeah, I mean, many things happened during that period. Uh, first is because our game plan tonight was just to save uh, some legs for Mauricio and keep him for the next game since he had yellow cards and things. So I wanted to avoid a yellow card for Mauricio and save some minutes and, and keep him growing and, and, and fresh. But when the, uh, the referee uh, ejected Luis, uh, ejected Luis from the, from the game, and then he forced us uh, to make three in the middle so we can have with Sebas, uh, Perea, and, uh, and Urso uh, a better and a solid uh, uh, line there that can be the, fear, the first barriers before the uh, Columbus find our back four. And I wanted to leave uh, Mauro in front. And obviously, we need some speed. And Tejo did a great job the whole game. So uh, we need some energy, and we brought uh, uh, Benji for that purpose and just getting behind of their midfielders and, and, and defenders. Uh, the game went on and uh, we wanted to say Mauricio, Mauricio get a yellow card and uh, I, I think he had the courage and said just let me in and 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 and, and he knew if, well, what he was asking for, you know. Uh, he knew that a play and, and a ball needed to come out from his feet again and he found a uh, Benji, which is a, a, a run that, that he knows how to make. And then I think he had a great finish as well. So a great collective effort again. I'm, I'm very happy. And, and I think the, the things come, come to our side tonight. Un equipo que está acostumbrándose a estas situaciones, que cuando las cosas se ponen en contra, tiene ese espíritu para salir a la lucha. Un equipo a lo que le expulsan a un jugador de manera muy injusta y que enseguida le hacen el empate. Un equipo que esté débil mentalmente se termina cayendo. No es de Orlando. No es de Orlando que saca fuerzas y que termina ganando un partido de manera muy merecida. Son apreciaciones de profe y felicidades por el triunfo de esta noche. Bueno, muchas gracias. Eh, y creo que lo remarcas muy bien porque la gallardía que tuvieron, la, la valentía de, de superar un equipo eh, élite en la conferencia, un equipo que ha hecho las cosas muy bien cuando se fueron en desventaja. Ahí yo creo que superamos ese momento tan emocional y, y asentamos bien el equipo y, y, y encontraron madurez hoy porque... No era fácil contener a Columbus, pero al mismo tiempo tratar de ganar el juego porque queríamos ganarlo. Entonces, pues estamos muy contentos. Yo espero, porque creo que todo lo vimos, yo lo revisé. Luis Nani no hizo 
falta para Roja. Por favor, seamos claros con eso. Porque es injusto y, y, y cuando, cuando sea de otra manera hay que decirlo, pero, pero creo que la revisión está muy clara. Yo espero que seamos justos con Luis porque realmente esa jugada pues ya la, ya la superamos, pero no, no fue una jugada para Roja. We, of course, saw so many emotional moments from this Orlando team during the MLS's back tournament as well. Um, this team has shown an incredible uh, bond to, to get results and, and come together. What do you attribute that to? Like, is, is, is that something that just comes down to a collective spirit? Is there a singular thing that you think explains why this team can, can grind out these moments? I, th I think they have done a great job on uh, overcoming many obstacles since we get here what I have seen is just the side of the players they know that challenges will come and they know that we were not at the beginning of the season the team where everybody was expecting big things and I think they they understood that and they embrace uh, that uh, barrier and and they overcome together as a group. Uh, I see them working. What happened in the bubble? It was it was not it was not luck. It, it was a building process that they had, and they continue with it, despite of the adversities that we had because we have players off, fight starters, and, and 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 three or four games, important game for us that allow us to go and and fight for the shield, but unfortunately we, we couldn't have them and, and the, the, the youngsters came and, 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 and get, get the results, you know. Dike last night had, a, a, had a, an infection that he couldn't, he couldn't uh, uh, walk up today and able to play it. and it's a, it's a kid who is scoring goals and suddenly we lost somebody who is heavy in our in our offensive side and 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 you know what happened with the team not nothing they they just move on i i would like to uh, give credit to many to my my staff my people but this is these guys that are bonding you know and and they they deserve it i hope that i can continue with this Hey Oscar, congratulations on the win. I uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on the back line tonight. And it, it didn't seem like uh, Jackie Zardes was much of a problem. Del Ryan didn't get into good positions. Or Santos they have a lot of very dangerous, skilled players, and uh, the Lions seemed able to, to pretty much handle them all night. Right, right. It, it was uh, a difficult team to play against uh, against uh, a, a coach that I I, I respect. Uh, in the league, of uh, course, Kelo has done a great job on on his squad and what he's doing this year with with Columbus and Sardes is a, is a top forward. And then, as you highlight, is it's uh, uh, the word that Antonio, Roy, and Kyle, and and Ruan, and just to keep them controlled in in Celarayan, which is a very crafty player. So. Today was a heavy day for us. It was difficult, and and uh, and I, I think we, we we showed again that that, that we, we can keep thinking about big things for Orlando City. Buenas noches, profe, y gracias por por tomar el tiempo y felicidades con la victoria. Uh, acabas de hablar un poco de la, la falta de Nani, que dijiste que no era parte de tarjeta roja. Uh, pre, curiosidad, ¿el, ¿el equipo piensa apelar a, a la tarjeta roja? Uh, o, o no sé cómo está trabajando la regla ahora la liga con, con lo que está pasando con la pandemia y todo eso. Right, you know, I, I'm going to say it in English and Spanish, so I want to be bold on this because I review the play. I think we all make mistakes, and then in the line we make, we we become emotional, and 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 it's not an easy job for referees. And in, in any case, you know, it's it's a it's a game anyway. Uh, we review it. Nothing happened. Now, we all made mistakes, and and we assume this as a part of the game. 
what happened is that is the game gave us the possibility to be fair and 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 we had to be fair it was not it was not a red card no fue roja para nani yo quiero tener eh, un criterio firme porque la, 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 la jugada se revisó y nosotros respetamos porque todos cometemos errores pero tenemos la oportunidad de, de, de mirarlos ¿no? y de verlos entonces quiero ser me preguntas no, no fue roja para mí no fue roja Profesor, ¿cómo está? Buenas noches. De Pulso Sports. ¿Qué sensaciones le deja este encuentro sabiendo que el primer encuentro de playoff que jugarán lo van a hacer eh, de manera local? ¿Cree que esto es un, una gran oportunidad, es una ventaja para ustedes? Bueno, pues queríamos traer el playoff acá en casa porque no, solamos, no solamente queríamos mostrar de que Orlando City es un equipo de playoff, pero es un equipo de los, de los mejores cuatro en la conferencia, una conferencia muy difícil. Y tener la, la localidad es importante, lo que pasa es que hay que hacerla valer cuando venga el juego, porque una cosa es tenerla y ahora es tomar esa, esa oportunidad, esperamos de que lo podamos hacer. I, I want to extend this in English too, because uh, uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for us to, uh, to have the first game at home but we have to make it valid when, when it comes. But we are proud to have the first playoff game ever in Orlando City at home. It is great. Hey, Oscar, I just wanted to ask you about Benji's goal. Um, you know, the, this kind of, uh, what did you tell Benji when you put him into the game? What did you ask him to do uh, within the, you know, constraints of the game and, and kind of just playing up at uh, Benji had two roles when he came in the field. It was to stretch the field for us, stretch it. Benji's fast, and then give us the opportunity for us just to have an outlet where we can get in behind of Metzai and Keita. I wanted to keep Mauro uh, some minutes, but uh, finally he, he wanted to finish the game, and even more when the yellow card came. But I knew and we knew, and Mauro knew, and Benji knew that a ball from Mauro would come, and and that's that's that was his job today, um, and Benji's case, and I think he took advantage of that great ball that he said, and then he finished because I think Benji was brave and then continued with the play and get a good finish. Yeah.